Hi friends, you're watching Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Hibiscus can self-pollinate. In other words, pollen from the male parts of the flower can pollinate the female parts of that same blossom. Hibiscus pollen germinates on the stamen, the male part of the plant. From the stamen, it is transferred to the stigma pads of the pistil, the female parts of the plant. From the pistil, the pollen finds its way to the ovules of the ovary. If the flower is pollinated, a seed pod will develop. The ovary at the base of the flower will swell. Over the course of the next 6 to 14 weeks, seeds will develop inside it. Eventually, the pod will dry and open, releasing about a dozen seeds. Natural pollination sometimes produces hybrids. Most modern hybrids are not the product of pollination in the wild. Hibiscus breeders intentionally cross plants to produce new colors and blossom shapes. For example, if a genetically pure white hibiscus is pollinated by a genetically pure red hibiscus, the result will be seeds that will grow a pink hibiscus. Hybrids rarely breed true when crossed. When breeders have produced the desired traits by cross-pollination, they will generally propagate the hybrid plants by grafting or rooting stems. Producing hybrids by hand pollination requires that the pollen be transferred mechanically from the stamen to the stigma pads. Breeders will either use a small artist's paintbrush to pick up the pollen and transfer it, or they will pick the flower of one plant and brush the stamen of that plant against the stigma pads of the second plant. When hand pollinating, breeders take special care to determine which varieties of hibiscus produce the best seed pods. These varieties provide the female plant parts for the cross-pollination. Varieties with porous seed pods provide the pollen. Hope you like this video, share this video with all friends and don't forget to subscribe Discovery Agriculture channel. Thank you for watching this video.